Hello and thank you for joining me on this Spacemax tutorial where I'm going to walk you through creating a pull request for Spacemax itself. In this case we're going to create a pull request for the closure layer but the steps are the same for any kind of change you want to make in uh, Spacemax itself. We're actually going to make a change in the closure packages.l file. If we have a look at that. And, uh, so we can see there's a whole range of key bindings here. We want to change, uh, we want to add a key binding. Before we make any changes, we want to uh, first update Spacemax to the latest version. So we open up Magit by opening uh, space GS, and this opens up the same thing as you would get with git status. So we can see the where our head of our project is pointing to, and we're pointing to the, the develop branch, which is where we need to make changes uh, with Spacemax. So we can uh, we can pull down the, the latest version of Spacemax uh, by using Magit. Uh, so we've got uh, the Magit uh, command menu here just by doing a question mark. And we can see we can do pushing, we can do pulling. Uh, so when we press F, we get options to, uh, to how we want to pull. Uh, so we're going to pull from upstream, uh, but we also want to rebase when we're pulling as well. That's recommended by Spacemax. And uh, <clears throat> so we could use R to define the whether we rebase true or false. We could change that. At the moment, it's set to true. So we're going to leave that there and just run U for pulling down from upstream. So I have this project connected to the cell, uh, to the upstream version of Spacemax. As you can see, we've now updated uh, yet another version. So now we're on uh, now we're on uh, commit number. 1103 so we've gone up a commit version and you can see that the uh, the commit message has changed at the top as well so we can quit out of uh, Magit just by pressing Q come back to our change uh, what they recommend as we've got as we've downloaded some uh, some changes I recommend we uh, quit out of uh, Spacemax so I'm just going to do space Q uh, and then I'm going to restart and resume with the layouts as lowercase r. Boom, boom, boom. So this is the line we want to change. So I'm just going to cut it uh, by doing double D uh, and undo it again. And then let's go and visit the file, press return, we go back to the file. We're in the kind of right place where we want to add the change. So I've added the key binding to uh, closure mode refactor um, so we can save that file save and then we can uh, make the other change we want to make uh, which was to the documentation you need to obviously if you're going to add a keyword key binding uh, for uh, that we need to add that to the documentation so this will go to the readme so whenever you open closure layer uh, read me this uh, this information will be there available to you so we uh, take a copy of that by double D um, and then let's open this file the readme file and this is more or less where we want to add it so we want to into we're going to add it to the refactoring section under uh, convert so there's some convert uh, sections under there already and uh, we'll just put in alphabetical order so H I J K and because this is using org mode and org table if we press tab it'll actually realign the uh, all the lines for us so it kind of makes it nice and simple to make that change uh, and then we do files save Uh, we can then go and have a look at the changes we've got in Git. So do uh, space uh, GS for Git status. We see we've got our two changes here. Actually, all we want to do is actually stage uh, this one particular line. 
So if I do control space, it puts a selector on there, uh, and so it's highlighting that line. I could highlight, uh, I could go and select multiple lines, but actually I only want that one single line. If I press S now, it will just stage that line, and it will not include everything else that we've got in here. We only want that one line that's at the stage. Uh, so if you press tab, it opens up, shows me exactly what's going to change. Although, as we want, as we're going to change the the formatting of the table, we probably include the whole table uh, where we made the change. So if we go back and open this up, we actually go and include, uh, which is in this section here. Uh, so we want the whole refactoring. So we get press control space, drag it all the way down, all the way down. Uh, we want the things that we've changed, and uh, yeah, all the way down to the whole table. That way we get the the line, uh, the end of the table, all lined nicely. Uh, and we press stage to add that, and we don't want the rest of that. And the code change that we're going to do is a lot simpler. We're, uh, we're going to, um, as we're inserting a change, then we've got one remove line because it's moving essentially the close parentheses uh, to the line below. So that line changes, get replaced by uh, the line that doesn't have the parentheses and our new key binding wording. So I can just go and select this whole uh, hunk. So in order to make the pull request, uh, we want to actually uh, create a new branch. So we can do that again with inside Maggot. If we do B uh, for branch, N will create a, a new branch. So we'll do N for new branch. We want it off uh, this branch be, to be branching off from develop. So we press enter, we type it in, and then the branch name, which I is going to call closure layer key binding toggle key word. I like to make my branches pretty descriptive, it makes it easier for somebody to understand what's going on. So create a new branch. Did we change that branch? Uh, oh, I probably should have see check out new branch. That would have been more sensible. Um, but let's do uh, B now. And you can see it's here. You can see where my previous branch was. Uh, I did evaluate to comment as a previous branch. And so I'm going to do Control J just to select uh, closure there, key binding, toggle keyword, that's what we want. So that's the branch we want, and you can see right at the top of the head we've actually changed, oops, we've actually changed the um, the name of the branch that the head, head points to, so whenever we make a commit it's going to commit to those, um, uh, to, to those, uh, to that, um, to that branch. So we've got our stage files, so let's, uh, let's do a commit. Uh, this brings up the commit section, and we can select a uh, commit. We don't want to do a squash or an amend or anything like that. We just want to do a commit, so we press C. Uh, it shows us what the commit is that we're going to do. So we've got our, our refactoring exchange, just changing the wording, and just changing that one entry in here. And then we've got the code change underneath there as well. That all looks good. Um, there's a commit window, so let's uh, actually put in a decent commit message. This will form uh, part of the description of the pull request, so we can refer to this in the pull request. So I like to make this fairly descriptive as well. This is the full commit message, so there's, a, there's the title of the commit and then the full kind of description of the commit. Uh, and Maggot also gives us uh, some information about other things we could change, so it, goes, cause it in, indicates that there are some other changes that we could have uh, could have included, but we, we didn't stage them, so we're not going to include them in this commit. Uh, so, to them. so I can uh, I can either do Control-C, Control-C, 
are in Emacs mode or in Vim mode, I can just do comma, comma to confirm the commit. Um, so now you can see we've uh, now you can see we've added the commit to the branch, and we can also do ll to show the log. We can see that we're just doing a commit there. Uh, we can press enter, and we can go and see the commit that we've made. Uh, made that change. Boom, boom, boom. That's everything's nice. And then just quit back out of those. Um, one thing we didn't do, obviously, was to actually check that the change actually works. So let's go and just double check that, just to make sure we do that before we do a, a pull request. Um, just in case we need to make any changes, we can make more changes, and then if we if we did make a, an error or need to make an update to the changes, then we can actually go and uh, do a, a, a commit amend to our initial commit. So let's open up a closure file. Let's see if we've got a, oh there we go, we've got some keywords there. So let's see if I'm on there, I should be able to do, uh, bring up the major mode uh, and under refactor and com under cycle clean convert there should be now a k option no there isn't now we haven't actually evaluated the file that we wanted to change uh, let's go back a second so let's go back to uh, is it still my buffer uh, packages.l Evaluate that expression. So we're just evaluating uh, basically the uh, yeah, space max leader keys. Uh, yeah, just defining this, just running this uh, let to bind all the function keys together. Let's see if that worked. So um, go to closure mode. Version major mode, refactor, change. And it's there, K. So you can do K, oh, that works. Uh, and then major mode, refactor, convert, K, back to string. Excellent stuff. And let's check the description that we've done as well. So let's do, let's go and look at the help. Uh, space, help. Uh, layers, uh, we want closure layer. So this is where we should find our documentation. So if we, there's a refactoring. So in here, uh, in this section, we should have our, oh, there is toggle between keyword and string. So that's part of the documentation as well. So that's good. Um, so I think we're all set. And we can see we've done a, we've done our commits but upstream is a commit behind, so we need to push it. So let's quit back out of that. Uh, so let's do a push. Uh, I'm going to the SpaceMax repository and I've pressed fork and I've forked it to practically a uh, thing already. So I've already done my fork. Uh, so and then I set this as a remote uh, repository uh, to my project. So, so here I've done a git remote just to show that I've got now got an origin and an upstream set uh, on these URLs. So when we go into SpaceMax, we should be able to push to remote. And I'm going to push to origin, which is mine. So I can compare and do a pull request, which is what I'm going to do. And it's filled in all the like, information about the pull request. Ah, I don't want to do master, I want to do develop. There we go. So change to develop doesn't let you merge, uh, doesn't do a pull request onto 
master we're doing it to the um, uh, to the uh, develop branch so I'm going to do that one which is which makes sense because I'm I did my branch from the develop branch as well uh, and it's from space max my direct my clone to uh, and then my uh, branch so um, all the information is there from my uh, original commit message and then again it's just a reminder uh, that we should be against the develop branch and not the master just in case you forget uh, so I can delete that and replace that with just what my commit message was um, let's do a pull request and see what happens boom, boom, boom. Okay, so there it goes. The pull request is open, uh, and it's open on Space Max, uh, and that's it. So now I just have to uh, be a little bit patient, wait for the uh, Travis to do its uh, checks. That it's doing. Uh, there's no conflicts with the base branch. That's good. So hopefully, uh, if this uh, pull request gets looked at in the next week or so and gets accepted, then uh, everything will be ready to go. In the meantime I can keep my branch and uh, uh, and use that change I've made uh, in the as part of the daily work I'm doing with Spacemax. Uh, and that, wrap, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, if you wanted to know anything about uh, how we did the command log as well, just out of curiosity, there is a command log layer you can add and you can basically uh, just add this command log layer to your layer configurations uh, in Spacemax in your .spacemax file uh, and then it's just space al to, uh, to toggle the command log on and off and this gives you uh, this nice little log here as well so that people can see the keys you're using. Uh, thanks again for listening and uh, let me know if you have any comments. Thank you. Bye.